Okay, I left the title in Italian, I don't know why, because obviously I am in Italian, and so sometimes instead of writing in, in English, I write in Italian. Sometimes I mix <coughs> without. So, energy. How much is the energy of a body? E equals mc squared. One of the famous formula of the world. So, uh, well, E is the energy, M is the mass, E is the, is the velocity of light. So E seems inappropriate to, to, this, uh, to these things, but uh, it, it, it is, needed, it is needed to say that actually when we move uh, the mass from, when this move this apple, which has a, a history actually in physics, uh, when we move from here to here, we move energy from there to here. Uh, are we interested to the, the first one, E equal to mc squared? This one, when we move this apple, no. Because we don't have nuclear reactions. We are not going to match with an apple with an anti-apple and generate the whole energy that is contained in this mass. We just, but when we move water, when we move a solid, we can evaporate some of it. So we uh, care about just the form of the energy that we can change. And the form of energy that we can change is, uh, for instance, described in this way, where U is the internal energy of the apple. Cp is the specific thermal capacity, with meaning that uh, the energy that uh, in the, uh, for unit, uh, unit temperature in uh, Kelvin degrees, and you know that energy is always defined up to, uh, up to a constant, so sometimes we can take a reference level. And then we have a part here we, where we explain it in terms of specific enthalpy, which is the part of the internal <coughs> energy that can be changed in a phase transition. If we can change this in a liquid apple or in a gas apple, uh, in doing this, we rearrange the single molecules, molecules, molecules of the apples, and the internal energy is changing. And this term is actually, there is one part that is taken into account here, which is related to temperature, the way that the single molecules move inside here, if it is hot or not, in the internal kinetic energy, and uh, there is the internal this is not exactly the same, but this could be the internal kinetic energy, and this can be the internal potential energy, which derive from different arrangements. So we have vapor density, the, the specific, I say specific entropy of vaporization, but because I was thinking to the final result, actually here's the specific entropy of that type of molecular <coughs> arrangement. So we have a specific entropy of Vapor, we have a specific enthalpy of liquid water, we have a specific enthalpy of solid water, meaning ice. And the specific enthalpy of vaporization in, tra in practice is the difference between the enthalpy uh, of uh, the vapor minus the enthalpy of the water. So that's the formula. Our big formula, the substitute Einstein formula for this is what we move when we do a phase transition. Where we can put uh, indexes for saying that this ice, that this liquid, that this whatever, for another phase. So, how we write the energy budget? The energy budget is, uh, okay, we have the, in, uh, if I am, Throwing the, the, the apple, the apple have a kinetic energy and is stopped. If I keep it in the uh, uh, stay in the, in the reference way, this has no kinetic energy. It has actually a potential energy because uh, there is a gravity here, is a gravitational field. But let's say there is no gravitational field, not even there could be useful to put it sometimes. 
but and so there is a further term, but say the, in this part we are interested just in the variation of the internal energy. And the variation of internal energy, what is this, the usual budget, the internal, the variation of the internal energy is equal what the energy that goes in minus the energy that goes out. The energy that goes in is uh, what is called, uh, okay, names in Italian, I'm sorry. A net radiation on the left. A convention of thermal energy. Energy on precipitation. If we uh, if we make rain over this apple, uh, we, uh, the rain can be frozen. So you have the temperature that is more understandable, and the the the, the apple is going to be to cooling uh, to be. Uh, to, to be uh, frozen by the, the, wa the, the water that goes in, into it. Or vice versa, if we put boiling water on it, the internal energy is changing. So precipitation is going to have an influence. Sometimes it's not so important, so we just neglect it. But we cannot neglect in some processes, for instance, when we treat or snow. Uh, rainfall or snow is one of the causes of uh, fast melting of snow and produce, producing floods, for instance. The other is uh, uh, the uh, accumulating of uh, energy in, in form of chemical energy inside the Assume that this, uh, this apple is like here, and like this one, but it, was, it used to be small like this. So when it, it grew, it acquired energy. And uh, what is the energy that it acquired? There is some, uh, essentially, what the, 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 the apple tree had, had in, in, in this, uh, uh, for, for growing was the radiation, CO2, and water. So this is the product of these three things. Plus uh, some minerals, actually, to, to trigger some chemical. So, if we don't take into account of the last term here, we don't have apples. We don't exist. In the hydrological budget, usually we neglect this term, but it is the most important for all life. Doesn't mean that this is the biggest budget in, the, in that part, because usually it's around 100%, 1% of the entire budget. But still, it's uh, so much important. And obviously, the internal energy is given by the extraction that we did before. So if we develop our expression, <coughs> what do we get? We get from the first term, from the internal energy, we have uh, uh, Cp dt over dt, which is the variation of temperature with time multiplied by the specific uh, thermal uh, capacity of the, of the thing. H, which is here the enthalpy of, of water minus the enthalpy in this case of, uh, actually the enthalpy of uh, water vapor minus the uh, enthalpy of, uh, of, uh, of water, which is usually we call lambda, which is latent heat of vaporization, one of the names for specific enthalpy of vaporization. And the other term is other term just I illustrate. Just for, uh, for knowing what it appears in this equation, we have the thermal budget that we usually say that this, this is the energy budget, but the energy budget is actually the one over there. When we put the second, and so we have radiation, we have advection, advection of energy coming from precipitation and Okay, now this is not a direction, this is a chemical. Okay, this is not present here, I have to eliminate it. It is just here, here. I put like minus actually. And uh, we have advection anyway, we have convection. Compare convection, we have two terms. One is deriving from the thermal flux, and the other is this 
part that actually comes from the internal energy movement. When you move some, the apple, you move energy. So this is the latter bit. But this is, I put convection. Actually, it's convection, but sometimes it's just diffusion. It's convection in when, when we, we treat it. Then I put two factors here, A and B, that usually are not present in the budget. Okay, there are some, uh, say, dog is there here, okay. Then we have conduction, when we lose heat for, uh, communicating with the center of the head. And we have chemical energy, which is accumulated inside in form of chemical balance. Why this A and B? Because assume that our surface is the, tab is the, the table, and under the table we don't have air, we just have solid thing. We have the surface of the exchange is just this, the upper surface. So in this case, A and B are one. But now take this, this thing here. You have two surfaces, one and two. So you, uh, the, the surface of, over which you exchange heat or latent heat is, can be one or two. Usually leaves as uh, at the stomata on the one side, so in this case B is one and A is two. But there, there are cause uh, uh, um, hypostomatous leaves, the major part of it. There are also leaves that have the stomata on the two sides, so in this case B is two. But this change a lot in the, in the energy budget. A factor do appear in here and there. Extraordinary, in 70 years, nobody realized it. That tells you some, something about the precision with which evaporation is measured. Those are sources, the other are sinks. In some cases, uh, that's, you take those, that equation and you say, okay, if I am treating the budget, the energy budget of these things here, I can assume that the fluxes are much greater than the thermal capacity of these things and the, the variation in temperature where I impose a source uh, is negligible in the sense that when I impose a source, uh, instantaneously the system goes to the equilibrium temperature. In this case, for most of the time, the, the T over the T is equal to zero. And I obtain this energy budget, which is kind of a stationary energy budget, where I throw away from the previous equation Cp the T over the T. And actually this is the budget that uh, is usually appears in all the treatment of evapor evaporation. Evaporation here in front have lambda, which is the latent bit of vaporization, because in principle it is a measure in, uh, is in mass, and has to be multiplied by the lambda for obtaining an energy quantity. Actually, we don't even measure in mass, we measure in meters because we, we use different quantities. What happens in practice? That because uh, equations are pretty simple, pretty neat, but the real application, uh, one real application of the energy budget is this one, which uh, we, we, it, it, it will take, let's say, one day to, to be studied, so I just Propose to you and you to go in through the uh, to the whole analysis. But you see, you have solar radiation, which is the source, of the main, so the in, almost the unique source of energy. Part is reflected, part goes through the, the plants, 
And finally, some, some kind of here. This is a paper in uh, Scientific American, actually, in 1978. And but they spread out during the years. I was not able to find other, and there are for sure evaluation of how the whole energy is uh, is uh, used. And here, at a certain moment, here you have more or less one percent of the energy. The biosystem uh, use on on average one percent of the total incoming energy that they are leaving. So we are very low low energy budget uh, things. And then obviously you have, you have all the food web here, uh, both on uh, plants and animals, that, and that each one use a, a, a part of the energy stored for a little and then release later on. And obviously the whole thing is what goes in, at the end goes out or stay inside. Sometimes stays inside for a long time because, for instance, all the, uh, the fossil fuels that you are using are uh, this kind of energy st stored for hundreds of thousands of years. And we are, uh, we essentially depleted the, the whole hundreds of thousands of years in, in a couple of hundreds of years. And we are putting again on our atmosphere. Another example here, not yet also is with snow. In this case, you see you have, in this case also, uh, we have an explicit difference between the, the, the first uh, representation, which is, you have, uh, you see, we have a short, uh, before I talk about uh, uh, net radiation, what is net radiation? Net radiation is essentially the incoming solar radiation, downwelling solar radiation with the arrow down arrow. Then we have up arrow solar radiation that goes back uh, according to the video and here it's very high. But also you have when an, every, anybody is eaten by radiation, it, 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 it eats up. If we open the window here, we go hotter, warmer, let's say. and. Uh, and then we, but at the same time, we start emit radiation according to our temperature. And we emit in the, in the um, uh, infrared here. So we have infrared. And then we have the other part that one can study. So that equation that seems so simple in reality is very complex to be disaggregated in all, in all of these components. In a, a real control volume interesting for hydrology. Another situation here, which is quite an historic thing, because it's the first paper on one of, of our model, which is Geotop. And the place is Lago de la Serraya. And the uh, dynamics here of uh, the radiation, uh, the, the energy budget is very complex, because not only you have a, a, surf a flat surface, but you have a complex surface with different kind of things. We have the lake, which is completely red there. Then you have the hill slope, which is irradiated in different way. And then you have also the atmosphere up there that, that is mixing the things. And so uh, the energy budget of this kind of thing is pretty complicated. And this obviously has both influence on, on what is there and on the hydrology that is there. Uh, it's not whatsoever negligible at all. If we don't take it properly into account of the main things here, we are not taking into account properly uh, the, the stuff. And the topography, the heterogeneity of the landscape is important in the energy budget. That is, uh, a simple statement, but absolutely true. And that is about energy questions.